mean, gentlemen? Again, I asked very innocently um, that artificial intelligence is on the march that, as for example, Ray Kurzweil um, and others have argued, uh, we are marching inexorably towards a time when artificial intelligence will match and surpass human intelligence. I, I take it first, or? Sure, I, I would say that um, you know, from robotics point of view, there's a lot that you can do uh, robustly as long as you have a model of what's going on. So Jeopardy seems like a really hard task, but it turns out you can do a lot with matching words, right? Matching this word against all the words in Google and find the context and find the answer to a question. It's pretty impressive uh, demonstration, but on the other hand, it's nothing like intelligence. There's no common sense there. So we work on robotics. We build robots that are uh, human scale and um, kind of state of the art for researchers to manipulate objects in the world and move around in an environment. And navigation around a building without hitting anything is something we can just nail, right? We can just do that. And I think Sebastian's going to talk next about doing that with cars in the real world. But understanding whether you should pick up a cup or not, because it may or may not have liquid in it, is something you still don't have. And eventually, you might get a model for that, too. But I don't feel like Watson gives us, uh, you know, we're, we're now at AI or anything close to that.